Hello everyone, and I want to make this video and show you what's unique. Here's this bag. I'll show you this first. So, I didn't realize it. Let me start with this mini. Let me try, I haven't zoomed out. This is this mini. Okay, so with this mini, it matches the bag. It just has different face expressions. And then back it's Mickey. So I'll be saving that bag because it matches. With this shirt, I tried it on her. I didn't do a video though because I didn't have time. But on her, it goes like this. And it does have bigger dots than with the small dots. But it's the same red. And it matches very, very well. So that's together. And I know you've already seen this shirt, so that was my haul from that. But I wanted to show you the skirt that I paired the shirt with that would make it really, really, really cute. <clears throat> no, I'm not doing a changing video, but I just wanted to show you that because that was really unique. And I thought that was pretty cute that the bag matched. And I know the skirt would match, but I didn't know how well it matched because it has bigger dots. Okay, so, um, I don't know. I'll try to do a video tomorrow of something. I don't know what. But of something. Um, yeah, so, um, it is hard. Um, didn't do that before. It was strange. Hold on, let me see if it's because of this. I don't know. But my camcorder has been acting very, very skittish lately. And I don't have an explanation why. Yeah, so I don't know what the explanation is for that. Um, but yeah, so, um, here she is. She's still interesting PGs, like I said, I wasn't going to change or anything, probably do that tomorrow, um, so, yeah, um, it's just hard, you know, dealing with certain things, but, again, I'm accepting, um, being positive, and what keeps me going is my friends, my family, and my faith, that's what keeps me going, and, uh, as soon as I can get a few more updates of what's going on with the brace, because I am getting a brace, that's started, but it's not can't be complete until the insurance covers it. So yeah, we have to see about that. And I don't know when I'll see the ortho, but I am on a waiting list, so we'll see. Um, reason why you can't really see my face because it is late, and I don't wanna. I'm already talking loud, and I just don't wanna wake nobody up. And my fiance, he'd be coming home soon. So when he gets tired, or when he comes home, he's going to be tired. So, yeah. Um, it's just me and Alyssa will be signing off. Be resting and watching TV. And I'm ready to go to bed. I, I'm surprised I'm, like, I'm feeling tired. Probably because I took my medicine early. It doesn't have to make you sleepy, but it can. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wanna say hi to aunties and uncles and cousins? Say it's late. I'm gonna go to bed too. I'll just be relaxing, taking it easy. Um. Yeah, go from there. Nothing else has been happening. I just thought that bag was cute and I thought I would show that because I didn't realize that. So it was just unique that it matches that. And I, like I said, I tried it on. I should have done a video of uh, me trying it on. Or I might have done that if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure if I did or not. I don't think I did. Um, but if I did, obviously it would be uploaded. I don't know when, but it will be. It's just keeping up with that. So, yeah. 
so yeah um I'm just thinking of saying anything else and really there's um not and then I got my eyebrows done today too for the first time for a long time I just uh, had them sh uh, straightened up and uh, thinned out a lot because that's how I wanted it was to be thinned out can you see that Yeah, so that's that. Um, just really nothing else going on. Just um, dealing with that. And it has been affecting my breathing. So I do have an inhaler. Um, what else? Um, I mean, the medicine's helping, like I said earlier. Uh, earlier. But, um,. Yeah, because uh, it can affect your breathing, which I have sports asthma, but on top of that, it's gets shortness of breath, um, just feel like you can't breathe because you have a time breathing. So yeah, um, just taking it easy. Nothing, anything exciting, just uh, went to the Disney store at a mall. Oh yeah, when I went to the mall, we wasn't there that long. We was only there like, gosh, not even that long. Like usually when we go, we were like, there like for like five hours or something. You know, just walking around, looking at everything. Uh, I would say we probably walked around, hmm, maybe an hour. If that, I don't even think it, I don't even think an hour. And I told my fiance, because we rented a wheelchair, so I could walk and sit, walk and sit. And I did have enough, you know, I had enough. I told my head enough that I'm ready to go. He said, okay, that's what I, you know, we didn't come to look. We just, you know, came there just to, you know, walk around. Nothing to look at or anything, but um, I just found that at the Disney store. I thought it was cute. It was on Clarence. And I uh, just bought that, and that was it. And... I didn't really want to walk, look around and a whole lot anyway. I just saw that and I was ready to go. I just said I had enough ready to go home. So we went home and relaxed. That was it. That's all we did. And that was... Uh, I forgot now. <laughs> so don't ask me what day. I'm so behind. Uh, ugh. I don't, I know it was this weekend, I just forgot what day, I know it wasn't today, obviously. I think it was either last night or the night before, I don't remember. But I just know that, um, I had enough of walking around, so we came home and rest. Um, I'm accepting doing things differently, like if I had to do it differently, I'm accepting that, um, it's whatever. I used to always think, like, how would I ever cope, like, if I had anything... That would trigger it and stuff like that, but um, I have it ever since I was a kid. I did wear a brace for a little while, not even long enough, but it straightened itself out. I wasn't told to follow up or anything because I was told to go ahead and live your life, that nothing should change until you're like 60 years old and you could become a hunchback. Well, let's spray down the road. Now I got something that's flowing up and acting up now. I gotta figure out like what's what's the next step like what's going on like what's what to do um so far it's muscle and nerve uh through your spine that i'm having so it's throughout the whole entire spine i have an s scoliosis i didn't know there was a difference between a c and an s c is when you curve like a big c s is like really curving and wavy and um that's what i have so it can affect you later on in life too, but I wasn't told to follow up because that's the question I was asked by my specialist when I seen that's how I know about all this stuff that I think is one that provided like with all the information and gave it to my primary doctor. That's only when things really started rolling on you know, the ball started rolling. And uh it's been a long ordeal. Four months. Um 
first two months, I, it was horrible. Like, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't even hardly walk. It was just horrible. Um, yeah, so, still got a long road to go on. But I wasn't told to follow up. That's the other question I had. There were, the specialist asked me, did you, was you ever told to follow up when you have scoliosis? Because it should be monitored or, or uh, followed up in some point in your time. No, I was just told in my life that it's a possibility that I can come a hunchback by the time I'm like 60 or so, or 70 or somewhere in there in that range. It doesn't have to be that specific age. And so, yeah, uh, that's what I, that's what we all thought. And this came up. So, yeah, um, whenever I know more and when I know what's going on and what's, what's the next step and what's going to do, what's, because that's the other thing, like, we're just trying to figure out, like, what is it doing? And being very hopeful, I was not depressed with this whole thing. I, there was times that I've, I thought, oh my gosh, enough is enough. I'm so much in pain. Like, what the heck? But as far as depressed, I was never depressed. Um, did I feel bad for myself? No, but um, it is what it is for right now. Um, I'm just taking it day by day. And what, like I said before, what keeps me going is my family, my faith, and my friends that I have. And just keep going. Um, I haven't been depressed. I know sometimes this stuff kind of right here can get you depressed. Uh, anxiety, nothing that nature for me. Uh, just accepting what it is for the time being. I am being very hopeful that this is just a temporary thing I'm going through. But if it happens to be something that is temporary but it's going to last a long time or whatever it might be later on, I'm willing to accept it. I can still do things, I just might have to do it differently. And I'm totally fine with that. I'm accepting that. That's my thing. I'm just accepting I'm accepting what is. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Dolphin Tale 1 or 2, it's a very inspirational movie. Um, the dolphin, Winter, she has scoliosis. And she's a dolphin. Um, I won't tell you the story or anything. Uh, if you want to see that movie, I really advise you to watch it because it's a really good movie. And it is based on a true story and it's based on the uh, rescue team from Clearwater, Florida released rescue and rehabilitation so yeah um, check that out okay everyone talk to you later bye